moving on to properties of metallic substance when we talk about metals this only contains metals and metals okay baki i was see of delocalized electrons or the so what are the properties metals form giant metallic lattices in which the metal ions are surrounded by a sea of delocalized electrons as we all know metal ions are often packed in hexagonal layers or in a cubic arrangement this layered structure with the delocalized electrons gives the metal its key properties look at this you can see a copper atom so aapko copper ke positive ions nazar aayenge and they are all surrounded by a sea of delocalized electrons layers of copper ions the delocalized electrons are not shown in the diagram but obviously layers jo aapko nazar aa rahi hai of the metal atoms if other atoms are added to the metal structure such as carbon atom this creates an alloy alloys are much stronger than pure metals because the other atoms stop the layers of metal ions sliding over each other easily alloys are the strong ki hote hain because if we compare the structure of metals let's say you have some metal ka structure okay these are the structure of metals they can actually slide over each other but when we talk about alloys alloys ke andar ek jab naya metal aata hai it has a different type of a molecule now this alloy creates an irregular arrangement now they are not able to slide over each other kyunki wheel like structure uska khatam ho gaya now the molecules cannot slide over each other alloys are not brittle they cannot be bent they are not malleable can't be compressed and they are very very strong than the normal metal to ye aapka structure kuch alloys ki tarah dikhta hai so that is why alloys are much stronger kyunki wo slide nahi kar sakte and they have an irregular arrangement of metal atoms the strength of the metallic attraction can be increased by increasing the number of delocalized electrons per metal atom increasing the positive charges on the metal centers decreasing the size of the metal ions and due to the sea of electrons metallic structures have some characteristic properties shown below as well jaise ke high melting and boiling point kyu hota hai metals ka high melting and boiling point because there are many strong metallic bonds in giant metallic structures so large amounts of heat energy are needed to overcome forces and break these bonds why are metallic structures good conductors of heat and electricity because of the free electrons that are available to move and carry charge when a metal is used in an electrical circuit electrons entering the one end of the metal cause a delocalized electron to displace itself from the other end and so electrons can flow so electricity is conducted why are malleable and what properties ki hoti metals ki uska bhi se ductile kya hota they can be bent what does malleable means the metal can be compressed into sheets layers of positive ions can easily slide over one another and take up different position this does not disturb the metallic bonding as the valence electrons do not belong to any particular uh, metal atom and so they can move with the layers of positive ions maintaining the electrostatic forces the metallic bonds are thus not broken and as a result metallic bonds are strong but flexible therefore they can be hammered into different shapes without breaking as well 